What's different about this show is that the people that we're working with, they're real Americans dealing with real challenges of maybe dealing with an illness or maybe some economic setbacks or maybe a partner is going you know, to serve in Afghanistan, real things that people all across our country are dealing with. So it makes it incredibly relatable because they're people just like you or your next door neighbor. And I come in there and I sprinkle a little bit of my fairy dust and um, try and, you know, make their life a little better and, and help them feel better about themselves. I know what it's like to grow up and feel, you know, growing up as a gay kid in Allentown, Pennsylvania, you think, oh my gosh, you know, there's something wrong with me. And growing up gay, the thing that's so different about it, whether you're like the only black kid in your class or the only, you know, Latino or something, you go home to your family and you're probably going to run into people that look and act just like you and you, you have a safety net. But when you grow up gay, you're afraid to even go home and tell, you know, your family who you are because you think, you know, they're going to stop loving you. So um, that's a really important message. I know what, you know, bullying is all about because it's happened to me. Um, so I try, you know, in whatever show it is, whether it was Queer Eye for the Straight Guy or now Carcination, I try to help people really celebrate who they are and just be who they are. And we have a really amazing episode that we filmed in Scottsdale, Arizona, where I work with a woman who... Um, transition from living as a man to living as a woman. She was transgendered. And um, that was, you know, something that was very near and dear to me and because it was someone who isn't always embraced by their community. And um, she's 62 years old and didn't, you know, never had a dress and never walked in heels and all those things. And I was able to help her become that person she always felt like she was on the inside. So that's a really, you know, not to sound corny, but a very special episode and um, one that I was really proud of. And that's one of the things with carcination, too. I didn't want to just take people to fancy department stores or have celebrity hairstylists fly in. I wanted to show people that live in small towns in places like Allentown or Eureka, California or Beaver, Utah, that you just need to be inspired. And um, you can get that from TV shows or from magazines or online. And just, you know, take some chances, try some new things, and and be inspired to just, you know, reinvent yourself.